Welcome back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP, and today we're going to be showing you how I make my honey fried pork belly. A really fantastic recipe, I love this. Alright, first thing we've got some pork belly, and uh, I've got that really chilled down so it's firmed right up. And I'm just going to cut these off around about sort of one and a half centimeters wide little strips maybe even a little bit thinner than that but nice little tiny strips just like that now if you want you could actually use what they call uh, pork rashers same sort of deal it's a cut it's the same cut of meat uh, i'm going to cut these into nice little chunks just like that <laughs> right and if you haven't had fried pork belly before wow you don't know what you're missing the flavor is insane the uh, the fat just works all right just going to cut that up i'm going to put that into a bowl ready for a bit of marination okay so just cut that up put that in and in a few moments we're going to make up our marinade for this beautiful cut of pork but right. i've got a tablespoon worth of corn flour cornstarch you could use a potato starch if you want and i'm going to add in around about a teaspoon or so of salt all right that can go straight in as well i'm going to give that uh about one to two teaspoons worth of sesame oil that can go straight in just like that really simple and about the same again of some good quality soy sauce maybe around about three teaspoons worth of that give all of that a bit of a toss through with your tongs just like that and i'm gonna let that sit aside for around about an hour don't forget uh, at least one to two tablespoons worth of chinese rice wine all right here i've got a little bit of cornstarch and i'm gonna add in two tablespoons worth of water that's actually around about a third of a cup of cornstarch all right i'm gonna just mix all of that together just like that so a third of a cup of cornstarch and a tablespoon or two of the water that can all go in and i'm going to add that to my marinade that's going to help things all stick together all right so i'm going to give that a little bit of a stir through just like that and that can go in right at the beginning when you're making your marinade it doesn't really matter just let it sit there and do its thing all right making up my honey sauce a tiny bit of freshly crushed garlic that goes in and i'm going to add in my honey i'm going to add in around about a quarter cup maybe a third of a cup's worth of honey and of course i'm using raw bees honey i'm not sponsored by them he's just a really good buddy of mine and the honey tastes incredible right little splash of hot water probably about a tablespoon's worth and that's going to help loosen the sauce up and uh, it's very very simple this one there's no nothing complex about it you keep it simple and it tastes better right third of a cup of self raising flour a third of a cup of corn flour or cornstarch that goes in just like that and i'm going to add in two egg yolks uh, just put those straight in just like that and of course when the egg yolk breaks you need to sort of loosen it up a little bit so i'm going to use a little bit of beer i'm going to use asahi you could use whatever beer you like and uh, in total the amount of beer we end up with using is going to depend on how thick you want your batter we want it a little bit thinner than a pancake batter so just add a little bit at a time it's easier to add moisture than it is to take away so add a little bit at a time give that all a little bit of a stir through and as you can see the consistency that i'm getting it's not really thick but it's not incredibly light it's just that what i call the goldilocks moment right so just give that all a bit of a stir through nice and simple and i've got more oil in a pot i could use a deep fryer but it's harder to show you on the screen with the deep fryer so i'm using a pot a little bit of vegetable oil 160 degrees i'm just going to add my little bits of pork in piece by piece they've been sitting in the batter of course and i'm going to use a little strainer to take them out put them in they're going to take 
a couple of minutes or so when they start floating they are pretty much cooked if you're not sure get a thermometer probe thermometer probe the inside if it's at least around about 160 to 170 degrees it's going to be safe to eat it's going to be cooked just absolutely perfectly and be nice and juicy all right so all we do is cook that uh, pork off in little batches just like that really simple and uh, it'll probably take you maybe 20 minutes or so to get through if you're cooking it in a small pot like this if i'm using my big deep fryer i'd have it done in probably 10 minutes all right place all your uh, pieces of beautiful fried pork onto a plate like that and all i'm going to do now is get that beautiful honey sauce and just drizzle that all over the top and you can see how light that sauce is we don't want it too thick we want to carry the flavor of the honey but we don't want it to uh, have it sticking to the plate All right sprinkle that over add some garnish maybe some sesame seeds and you're done all right thank you so much for watching this video really do appreciate it and if you like this video hit that like button it gives me confidence should make you feel warm and fuzzy too share this video with all your friends on all platforms of social media we are trying to get another kfu's kingdom out there don't forget to hit that notifications bell which one You'll be notified every time a new video goes up. And please leave a comment. I love reading and I love responding to them. In the meantime, if you want to learn how to make a real nice Cantonese-style dish like this one, my uh, honey-fried pork belly, well, you need to come and join the family. My family, hit that subscribe button and you will never miss another one of my videos again. Off to eat my uh, yummy fried honey pork and I will catch you next time. Bye!